Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Padron 2000 Maduro. I did a little punch cut on there. It was small and flat there at the top, so I was a little concerned about going too far on the cap and messing up the rest of the wrapper. So the punch cut worked out perfect. Perfect draw. It's got a different flavor in there. I can't figure out what it is. But the body of the cigar has a real deep cocoa type of smell to it. Uh, it reminds me of something that I don't think Padron wants to hear, and it's just a coincidence. And that's just me what it reminds me of. Um, those little chocolate cigarillos made by Dutch Masters. Yes, I have bought those in the past. I, I keep stuff around like that for people that aren't really cigar, serious cigar smokers, or, or they, they talk about flavored ones, and they're, they just don't know about premiums yet. They're not into it yet, and you know I'm not going to waste a good cigar on somebody that just doesn't appreciate it yet. Maybe they will in the future. But anyway, those have the same smell as this. Very strong cocoa chocolatey smell. So it can be done with natural tobacco. Because this is not infused. But it's got a different kind of flavor on the cold draw. And all those smells usually all just go away. The smells and flavors pre-light. The day somebody knows how, figures out how to make a cigar taste and smell like it does on the cold pre-draw, I'll buy boxes of those things. They'll sell like crazy. It just doesn't happen very often. Hmm, nutmeg maybe? There's some kind of a baking spice that I'm getting out of that. Hmm, or maybe cinnamon. So let's get this thing lit up. Clock's running. So this is a 5x50 Robusto. Rated medium to full. It's been sitting in my humidor for two and a half months at 65% humidity and it's 25 out here. Let's see what happens with that. I got it for free or it was part of the Rocky Mountain Cigar Festival. And these normally go for between five and six dollars, Cigars International, various places. That's a wrapper is a Nicaraguan Habano, made in Nicaragua, it's a Puro. I've never had of the num any of the numbered series of uh, Padron. I've only had the 1964 Anniversary Series, which is a great cigar. And actually, I had the TAA for 2014, which is, I think, even better. Great draw, lots of smoke. Nice aroma, nice flavor. Very good start. Let's see, let's see what Cigars International has to say about this. Consistent as clockwork. Padron Cigars are a series of robust Nicaraguan handmaids boasting a deep and complex flavor. This brand continually gets high marks for consistency and it has enjoys a loyal and enduring fan base, that's for sure. Padron Cigars are Nicaraguan puros, as all the leaves utilized to create the cigar are cultivated from the fertile soils of Esteli, Nicaragua. This mesmerizing, mesmerizing mixture of hearty tobaccos brews a rich, robust smoke and offers a complex array of flavor capped with a, off with a sweet finish. The blend is available in two equally impressive varieties, natural Maduro, this is the Maduro. Best of all, each size is reasonably priced. Not a bad price for a Padron. When all the cards are put on the table, Padron cigars are hard to top, period. With its C of 90 plus ratings, Padron earned as high as a 93, noting each puff of this Big fat cigar, not big fat cigar, layers the palate with flavors ranging from toast and coffee bean to more refined espresso notes and a touch of caramel. I'll tell you right off the bat, I, I like this one. Very nice beginning, no harshness, short clean finish. I have heard and read in places that, I don't know if this is the case with these numbered series, the 2000, 3000, all those, but that it was with the Anniversario, the more expensive ones, that they have the Natural and the Maduro, but they're actually the exact same cigar, and they're just sorted by color. Same cigar, darker ones are Maduro, lighter ones are Natural. I've read it and heard it more than one place by people I trust in the business, so I gotta assume it's 
real. It's true. I don't know if that works the same with these. But um, this is a fairly light colored Maduro. And the problem with um, getting them in a big bundle, like from the Rocky Mountain Cigar Festival, is that, who's to say? This isn't a natural. <laughs> um, it doesn't even say a number on it. Who's to say it's not a 2000? I'm told that's what they were. I'm going to go with what's, uh, that's what it is. I know it's a Padron. It says Padron on there. I've seen these before. Either way, very nice start. I'm liking it so far. Let's keep going. Well, I'm about 35 minutes into this Padron 2000. It's smoking perfectly. Great draw, great burn, great aroma, great flavor, everything. This is perfect. Nice smooth flavors. I don't think I've done a retro yet. Some rich tobacco flavors in there. A little, little sting, but not too bad. This thing's going pretty quick. Every time I say that, it ends up being a two-hour cigar. So, um, can't complain so far. Really enjoying it. Let's keep going. Well, I'm going to wrap up this review of this Padron 2000 Maduro. Towards the end, it got a little spicier. And the burn got a little wavier. And uh, the smoke output draw kind of tightened up a little bit. Maybe it's getting plugged because of the... Uh, old bullet punch there but overall very good cigar uh, throughout great draw smoke output aroma is really nice flavor was consistent from beginning to end except for that little bit of spiciness here towards the end very good cigar and if it's under six bucks this is uh, well worth it and I would definitely buy more of these so this has been the Maduro version of the Padron 2000 oh what did I score it I scored it a 96 what can I say? Looking at all the other cigars I smoked and, you know, fairly flawless. Just here towards the end, I think it might be a little touchy. It's getting a little harder to pull off of. But, um, so, thanks for watching. This is Chris Stogie Palace. I will see you later.